Shabbat Shalom, family, Messiah Yeshua. Shabbat Shalom to the worldwide YouTube and social media community. This is your beloved brother Shaul Yisrael coming back again for another Yahweh inspired message. I'll be reading from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 4 and starting at verse 1. Deuteronomy chapter 4 and starting at verse 1. Again, Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 1 I read. Now therefore hearken, O Yisrael, unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you, for to do them, that you may live and go in and possess the land which Yahweh your El, Yahweh El of your father gives you. Now therefore hearken, O Yisrael, unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you, for to do them, that you may live and go in and possess the land which Yahweh El of your father gives you. You shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall you diminish aught from it. That you may guard the commandments of Yahweh your El, which I command you. Now turn to Deuteronomy 12. Deuteronomy chapter 12, and start at verse 32. What things soever I command you, observe to do it. You shall not add therein, you shall not add thereto, nor diminish from it. What things soever I command you, Observe to do it. You shall not add thereto, nor diminish from it. And turn to Revelation 22. In verse 18, For I testify unto every man that hear the words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, y'all shall add unto him the place that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, Yahweh shall take away his part out of the book of life, and out of the set of our city, and from the things that are written in this book. So I read those passages to say this, that we are instructed of Yahweh to believe and to live according to what's written in the scriptures. We are never to add our own thoughts, our own understanding to the scripture. Therefore, we must live according to every word of Yahweh, which have proceeded from the mouth of Yahweh. Thus, it is a sin to refer to Yahweh's word as apocryphal, as Bible, as extra biblical, as non canonical, as pseudopographical. If you have done these things in a state of ignorance, then you won't be held accountable. But more you come to an understanding and a true interpretation of what the scripture says for us to do. To live according to every word of Yahweh not to add nor to take away from the scripture. And yet you still do things contrary to the scripture, then you are in error. You are in willful violation of the word of Yahweh. We are never to add to the scripture. So you know to refer to Yahweh's word as either Bible, apocryphal, pseudopographical, non canonical, or extra biblical. In fact, you are never to declare that Yahweh's word consists of only six books. All who have said that the word of Yahweh simply is limited to six books, you have told a lie on the scriptures. And when anyone lies on the scriptures, they have lied on Yahweh. And when you lie on Yahweh, you blaspheme. For our Yahweh's word is not limited to six books. Yahweh's word is not limited to 80 books. Yahweh's word is not limited to 90 books. Was simply to believe and to live according to every word of Yahweh. We're simply to live and believe what's written in the scripture. That goes for anyone that says that you must be of a particular lineage or bloodline in order to receive salvation. When Yahweh is of no respect of person. Whoso will, let them come. Take up the water life freely. Whether you be Jew, 
or of the nations. There's no bloodline salvation. And those who say there is a bloodline salvation, you have not only added to scripture, but you have taken away the, the teaching of scripture that said that Yahweh is of no respect or a person. So don't add, don't take away from the scripture. Because there's danger. There's a, 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 a warning to anyone that adds to the scripture. And there's a warning to anyone that takes away from the scripture. Those who add to the scripture, Yahweh has promised to add to you plagues that he deemed suitable to add to you because you have added to his word. Those who take away from his word, Yahweh said he will take one's name out of the book of life. That means when one's name is taken out of the book of life, you will not be granted entrance into the kingdom of Shavuot to come. So don't add, don't take away from the scriptures. Those who teach that one need not be baptized in the water in the blessed name of Jesus Christ for the pardon of sin and regenerate your soul. You have taken away from scripture. For Yahweh commanded through his Messiah Yeshua of Nazareth that one must be baptized in his name. Those who teach that one need not receive the Holy Spirit baptism according to the testimony of scripture then you have not only taken away from scripture but you have added your own thoughts your own understanding of scripture. So we are commanded to live according to every word of Yahweh. We're not to add we're not to take away from the word. So, believe what's written in the scriptures. In order to believe what's written in the scripture, Yahweh must give you an understanding. And an understanding is a, a, a true comprehension of what the word says. And this can only come by revelation from Yahweh. Which Yahweh only reveals to the humble. Those who bow the knee of their heart before him. For it's written, he that comes to Yahweh must first acknowledge that he exists. And is a reward of them that diligently seek him. Yahweh reveals himself to the humble. So in order to believe what's written in the scripture, in order to live according to what's written in the scripture, Yahweh must reveal himself unto you. If Yahweh has not revealed himself unto you, then you cannot believe and live according to what's written in the scripture. And thus, you will end up leaning to your own understanding. And when you lean to your own understanding, then you will not only add to scripture, you will take away from scripture. We're not to add, we're not to take away from the scriptures of truth. We're to believe what's written in the scripture. So Israelite community, you got to continually examine yourself because you have added to Yahweh's word and now and you have taken away from the word. In saying that the white man is Esau, you have added to his word. And say that one need not be born again. According to Acts 38, you have taken away from the word. And saying that only a particular bloodline can receive salvation, you have added to the word of Yahweh. And thus you are under Yahweh's judgment, under Yahweh's indignation. Because indignation abides upon sinners. So don't add, don't take away from scripture. Believe what's written in the scripture. Take the scripture as it is. For in order to understand scripture, the self same spirit of Yahweh who inspired and moved and directed men to record scripture must not only come upon you, but must be in you to properly understand, to properly interpret, and to properly apply the scripture. 
example of the scriptures is the work and the product of Yahweh. It proceeds from his mouth. For that cause only Yahweh can reveal and understand, reveal a comprehension of his word. Reveal an interpretation of his word that you may properly apply it. If Yahweh don't reveal his word to you, then you're lost. And you cannot understand, you cannot interpret the scripture without Yahweh revealing his scripture to you. And Yahweh having revealed it to you, that while those who start to teach the word, they'll end up twisting the word, distorting and perverting the word because Yahweh hasn't revealed himself to them. The scriptures is a product of the spirit of Yahweh, as Yeshua taught us. The words that I speak, they are spirit and they are life. So you're handling the book of life. But in order to properly handle the book of life, you must be inspired, you must be led by, and you must be under the governance of the spirit and presence of Yahweh. This is a spiritual book. This is not a carnal book. The carnal mind is at enmity with the mind of Yahweh. So, the Israelite community, uh, same with the Hebrew Roots community. You have to go back to do your first works all over again. That is, you must repent of your sins. And you must go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. You must be baptized in water to receive that pardon of sins. And to receive quickening of your soul. The regeneration of your soul. See, only through water baptism can one be made alive unto Yahweh. Apart from the water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, you cannot be made alive unto Yahweh. Let alone, let alone you cannot receive the pardon of your sins. So you must be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ or Yeshua HaMashiach. This is the commandment of Yahweh. You reject it. You say it's not necessary. Then you now have taken away from the word that signifies that Yahweh will remove your name from the book of life. If your name is removed from the book of life, then you are guaranteed to inherit the lake of fire. So don't add or take away from the scripture. Deal with the scriptures as it is. In order to properly understand, in order to properly interpret, and to properly apply the scripture with wisdom. See, the application of the word is wisdom. To obtain wisdom, you must possess an understanding or comprehension. You must possess a discernment, which is an interpretation of the scripture. And with comprehension coupled with interpret, right interpretation of the scripture, then you may properly apply it. But this can only come by revelation from Yahweh. You must receive revelation from Yahweh. Yahweh must reveal himself unto you. It's written in Ecclesiasticus. Yes, um, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and starting at verse 19. Me are in high place and of renown, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek, the humble. For the power of Yahweh is great, and he is honored of the lowly. So, Yahweh reveals himself unto the humble. And you sure taught that those who come as a little child shall be not only accepted by him but approved of him. So you must humble yourself as a little child. You must regard the word of Yahweh as it is. At face value. The word of Yahweh written is the word of Yahweh written. Don't try to put your own spin. Don't try to remix to try to incorporate your own thoughts and your own rationale with the scriptures. Believe the scriptures as it is. 
And in order to believe the scripture as it is, Yahweh must reveal himself unto you. How can one hear without a preacher? And how can you preach except to be sent? So if you want a Yahweh's sheep, you will receive Yahweh's word as preached by his messenger. So believe the scriptures as it is. Don't add, don't take away. Because when you add to the scripture, Yahweh promises he will add to you the plagues that are written in this book. I mean, the plagues that he deems suited to add to you. And not only, will, not only you, Yahweh will add plagues to you, not only Yahweh will take your name from the book of life, but to add and take away is blasphemy of the Holy Ghost. When you add and take away from the word, you're blaspheming the Holy Ghost, which is there is no pardon of sin. And if you willfully blaspheme the Holy Ghost, then you are damned. A lot of you Israelite camps, assemblies, and groups, you're damned. You're preaching a gospel that is causing people to be damned. That will damn the souls of people. And their blood is on your hands. So believe what's written in the scriptures. Don't add, don't take away. Take the scripture as it is. Only Yahweh can reveal himself unto you to give you proper understanding, proper interpretation, that you may properly apply the scriptures. Other than that, you are lost. Those who don't have an understanding, those who don't have a proper interpretation, and can't apply the scripture, you're lost. You're, you're, you're walking through that wide gate and on that broad road that leads to destruction. So, hear the word of Yahweh as preached and taught by his messengers. And I'm one such messenger by the favor, infinite mercy, and the will of Yahweh. Hear the word of Yahweh. Don't turn your ear from it. Don't harden your neck from the word of Yahweh. But hear and receive the word of Yahweh. If you want a Yahweh's sheep, you'll know Yahweh's voice. Again, I put forth the invitation to whoso will to repent of their sins and to be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm one such minister of Yahweh that will baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ that you may receive the pardon of your sins and the regeneration of your soul. Call me 336-459-9792 There are other ministers that I recommend that are likewise able to baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ that you may receive the pardon of your sin and the regeneration of your soul. Those ministers are Brother Geno Jennings his information will be in the description of this message and Brother Lodge of the Household of Faith. They will likewise baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ. But concerning receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit it is your responsibility to seek Yahweh diligently, patiently, and humbly and with expectation for to receive the Holy Spirit baptism. Knowing that upon receiving the Holy Spirit baptism you will speak in another tongue and Yahweh permit you to speak. That is the initial and stone proof that one has received the Holy Spirit baptism. When Yahweh has come in you, as the Holy Spirit, for Yahweh is a spirit, Yahweh is set apart or holy, then he will move your tongue to speak in a language that's different from your native language, that's unknown to your ears and new to your ears because you never spoken it this is what you must do now put up the invitation repent your sin you must be baptized you must it's a command for you to be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ you must seek Yahweh until you are filled with the Holy Spirit and you continue to seek Yahweh to be renewed with the Holy Spirit baptism so family don't add don't take away from scripture. 
Don't add or take away from scripture. You, you regard scripture as it is. In order to understand, in order to properly interpret the scripture, in order to properly apply the scripture, you must receive revelation from Yahweh. And Yahweh reveals himself to those who have humbled himself as a little child. A little child believes everything that his parent tells him. So you must approach Yahweh as a little child. You must receive the word of Yahweh as a little child family. Let go of your mortal mind. And receive the mind of Yahweh. The word of Yahweh as a little child. And he will give you revelation if you humble yourself. If you bow the knee of your heart before him. But if you are prideful. If you think you know it all. If you think you are above correction and reproof that Yahweh will not reveal himself unto you and you will still remain in the dark and those in darkness they will not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh to come so believe what's written in the scripture in fact we have the same spirit of faith according to what's written if you have the same spirit of faith according to what's written then you will not only believe what's written then you will speak what's written but the speak was written is not limited to what comes out of your mouth. But it also entails how do you conduct yourself? How do you live? For your life speaks. So we must believe according to the scripture. And if we believe according to the scripture, then we will live according to every word of Yahweh. That's the truth of it. More so on Yahweh's set apart day called the Shabbat. Believe what's written in the scripture. Take it as it is. Don't add the scripture. Don't take away from scripture. Let me go back to Revelation 22. In verse 18. For I testify unto every man that hear the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add to these things, Yahweh shall add to him the plagues that are written in this book. Now turn to Deuteronomy 28. In Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 58. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 58. Yeah, I read. If you will not observe to do all the words of this law that are written in this book, that you may fear this glorious and fearful name, Yahweh your El, then Yahweh will make your place wonderful. Then Yahweh will make your plagues wonderful and the plagues of your seed, even great plagues and of long continuance, and sore sicknesses and of long continuance. Moreover, he will bring upon you all the diseases of Egypt, which you were afraid of, and they shall cleave unto you. Also every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law. Then will Yahweh bring upon you, upon you until you be destroyed. So if you add to you, Yahweh's word that Yahweh has promised to add plagues diseases and sore sicknesses to you that he deems suitable to add to you so don't add to Yahweh's word this is the warning do not continue to add to Yahweh's word regard Yahweh's word as it is don't add to the word of Yahweh. Don't do it. Let go of your moral mind when you, when you approach Yahweh's word. You believe what's written in the scriptures. For I testify unto every man that hear the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, Yahweh shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, Yahweh shall take away his part out of the book of life, now the set of our city, and for the things that are written in this book. So don't take away from the scriptures. If you take away from the scriptures, y'all will remove your name from the book of life. Then you will not inherit Yahweh's kingdom. Then you're guaranteed to be damned. If you take away from his word, you're guaranteed, guaranteed to be damned. If you say that you don't have to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you take away from the book and you're going to be damned. 
You say you don't have to receive the Holy Spirit baptism according to the testimony script, then you're going to be damned. If you say that Esau is the white man, then you have added the book, y'all are going to add plagues to you, and you not only blaspheme the scripture. So don't add, don't take away from the scripture. Believe the scripture as it is. Believe scripture as it is. Uh, you must receive revelation from Yahweh. When you approach the word of Yahweh, you approach the word of Yahweh as a little child. You must become a little child when you approach Yahweh's word. For when you approach Yahweh's word as a little child, he's guaranteed to reveal himself to you. Those who are, have exalted themselves, Yahweh won't reveal himself to you. You must become a little child and receive the word as a little child family. Believe the scripture as it is. Only by revelation can you understand, interpret, and apply the scripture. Uh, concordances, commentaries, con dictionaries, that will not cause you to understand the scriptures. Because in order to properly handle the scripture, to put scripture in the proper context, and to uh, link and connect scripture, you must be endowed with the same spirit that calls set apart men of Yahweh to record the scripture. You must be revealed understanding and interpretation and application from Yahweh. No man can give you revelation of the scripture. And let me say it again. No man, no man can give you revelation of the scripture. You must receive revelation from Yahweh. Only Yahweh can reveal unto a man the understanding and the interpretation and, and the application of the scripture. That while those who resort to concordances, dictionaries, encyclopedias, uh, commentaries, they know not Yahweh. They don't represent Yahweh. You resort to commentaries, you resort to encyclopedias, you resort to dictionaries, and uh, all the definitions, you need revelation from Yahweh. As Brother Shaw of Tarsus um, so eloquently instructed us in his epistle to the set but one at Corinth. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 1. And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with ecstasy of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of Yahweh. For I, for I determined not to know anything among you except being reconciled with Yahweh and I will whip you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling and my speech and my preaching were not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in the demonstration of the spirit of Yahweh and of power that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men but in the power of Yahweh for the true preacher in Yahweh's assembly is Yahweh himself I'm a mere instrument, a mere vessel of Yahweh. Yahweh gives the words. Yahweh gives the unction for me, his vessel, to deliver to you. And those whom has been chosen will not only hear, but will receive the words that is delivered. So approach Yahweh as a little child. Humble yourself as a little child that you may receive Yahweh and walk in fellowship with Him. Because this is the only way that one can have an understanding and a discernment and probably apply the scripture if you see the word as a little child. For Yahweh only reveals Himself to little children. Yahweh only reveals Himself to little children. If you have not come as a little child, then Yahweh has not revealed himself to you. And if Yahweh has not revealed himself to you, you are lost. And if you're lost, you will be damned. Yahweh only reveals himself unto little children. That's the truth of the Holy Ghost. 
So humble yourself as a little child that Yahweh may reveal himself unto you. O Yahweh, in the name of your beloved son, Yeshua HaMashiach, I thank you for granting yourself another opportunity to speak forth your word of truth, for counting your servant worthy according to your favor, your mercy, and your loving kindness to be your vessel to declare your set apart testimonies. Draw your chosen that you chose before the foundation of Shami'in and the rest to both hear and receive your word. Bless and grant us a refreshing on your Shabbat, O Yahweh. Wherefore we are scattered upon the earth, O Yahweh. Grant us your refreshing, grant us your patience, grant us your uncommon favor on your Shabbat. God, shield and defend us from every evil work and work of darkness, O Yahweh. Even your servant here in Persia County, Rockford, North Carolina, God, surround and preserve your servant from every evil work and work of darkness. Particularly continue to fight against my enemies. Particularly my enemies both in Rockford Police Department and Rockford Sheriff Department. Fight against them, O Yahweh. Let them have no rest to their eyelids nor to their body. You continue to curse, afflict, terrorize, plague them, O Yahweh. Appoint evil Melachim against them, O Yahweh. You bring them down from their exalted position, O Yahweh. Show forth that you are the sovereign of sovereigns in creation, O Yahweh. That there's no one that can overcome you, O Yahweh. You send forth your continual and persistent and your grievous terrors plays an unrestrained fury into upon them and surrounding them until they're destroyed O Yahweh let their double destruction be public be final before all the erets in Shamaim O Yahweh embarrass them O Yahweh unto the glory of your set apart most exalted name and unto the exaltation of your servant whom you have sent O Yahweh I give your name honor glory and praise O Yahweh so be it so be it remember family as you're able in the name of our soon coming king Yeshua HaMashiach please show your support by sending a donation to either my cash app or paypal or money ground. Please support. Show your love. To support this work. Of Yahweh. Support this minister of Yahweh. I need your help family. Become a contributor in. My ministry. A fellow laborer by supporting. My endeavor to preach and teach the word of Yahweh. I love you all, family. Pray for your brother. brother. Pray for one another. May y'all bless you with a blessed Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom.